If you've been interested in coding boot camps at all over the last few weeks or months, then you've certainly heard about the news of one of the largest coding boot camps in the country shutting its doors, and that was Dev Bootcamp. Now, I've been wanting to create a video about coding boot camps for a while now, ever since I went to one, uh, Full Stack Academy in New York City, and whether it's worth it and if you should do one yourself. So, Dev Bootcamp I actually applied to and got in and it was between Dev Bootcamp and Full Stack Academy, both in New York City, uh, of going. And they have the, about the same prices, all of them range from about 12000 to, now some of them are super expensive, eighteen to 20000 um, Full Stack Academy at the time was 15000 and it sounds like a lot of money and it did use up all of my savings, but it was also the best investment I've ever made in my life. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever have a better investment in my, in my life again. The knowledge I've learned, the people I've met, and the doors it's opened for me has been priceless. Um, now, what's the big appeal of a coding boot camp? So, I was always interested in coding myself. Um, and I even did a couple computer science classes in college, but in college I hated it. It was not interesting and really got me out of it. So I ended up majoring in political science, which is pointless for me. I haven't used it at all. Um, and I even got my MBA in marketing and management. I really haven't used that much either. But over the years, since I've moved from job to job in product management, marketing, uh, even graphic design, I've always been interested in coding a little bit in the back of my head. So I started looking up online, doing some tutorials, building some very, very basic websites. Um, but I wasn't learning enough to change careers. And that's what Full Stack Academy provided to me. Uh, the opportunity to clear all my bank accounts, one, uh, if you want to go broke real quick. Uh, but it, it is a little tough to make that decision and use all your savings. And for me, I moved from Philadelphia to New York City. So put on top of that, uh, moving costs, a new apartment that I had to find and pay for. And it was three months long, so I wouldn't be able to have a job in those three months. So you definitely have to be prepared for it. And it has to be, you have to be sold on this decision of switching careers or else you won't get as much out of it as I did. And what do I mean by that? Uh, there's been a lot of people that have asked me for help to get in, some advice, uh, some tutorials, and I've done that, and they've all graduated, and they've all gotten software engineers jobs since. But there's also people that are really just interested in coding and program because it is a popular field, and it's in demand, and we, you get paid well. Um, there's no denying that, but if you're not passionate about it, you don't want to learn, then this boot camp will be a waste of money, just like any tutorial you pay for online. It'll be a waste of money unless you really deep down want to learn coding, programming, you want to be a software engineer, any of those things, they're all the same thing, programmer, engineer. Um, but if you're not passionate about it and you don't really want to learn, then it will be a waste of money. But if in the back of your head you've always been thinking about this, you want to switch careers to whatever, um, then it's absolutely worth it. Everyone in my class had super different backgrounds and they ranged from uh, marketing people, uh, finance people, so there were some artists, uh, one guy was a sculptor, or whatever you call that. Um, and we even had one of my good friends he used to be a priest, so that was... I like telling people that one because that was the most dramatic change from being a priest to a software engineer. And he's been a software engineer for the last three years and he's been successful at it. But that was because he was passionate about it. He really wanted to learn. He wanted to build things. And that is what's really key in wanting to learn how to code or wanting to spend such a large amount of money on a coding boot camp. It's just what makes it so valuable is the people that you work with every day, the projects you build, and the network you build along the way. So every everyone I went to a coding boot camp with, 75% um, of the class I still talk to on a regular basis, 
uh, live in New York City and meet up with them often and still some of my, my, my best friends in there. So if you are passionate about it, you really want to learn, absolutely go for it. Um, but I would start with some online tutorials, start building a basic website, uh, start with HTML, CSS, um, and then start doing some more tutorials. And if you still like it then, then apply for one of these boot camps. Um, they'll have you do some prep work beforehand, so as long as you get through that, then you should be fine to get in. Um, I'll do some more videos on coding in the future, um, but if you want to look into some tutorials now, learning how to build a website or iPhone app, uh, the project I'm working on right now is codeshit.org, uh, hopefully easy to remember, and I have a few lessons up there for available, and check it out. I'll talk to you later.